<laughs> what do you see happening here? Probably that. The thing that's What's going up? The liquid. The liquid is going up. Are they both going up to the same amount? Are they both in the same system? Okay, let's talk about the system. We have a beaker full of water. It's sitting on a hot plate that's turned up all the way to high. In each test tube, we have ethanol in yellow. We have water in green. There's a stopper to seal those, and then there's a glass tube that comes out of each one. How does the water get from the test tube into the, glass, the thinner glass tubing above? It's pressurized. What's that? Okay, so as the particles heat up, he said, they start to move faster, and so they expand. What do you mean when you say expand? So would you say that they're getting more or less or the same dense? Less dense. So as it, he's saying, he observes as it gets warmer, the particles get less dense, and so they move apart from each other. The only place they can move is up through this glass tubing. Are the particles in the green tube, are they moving as well? Just not as fast or not as much. Okay. Do you notice, has it continued to rise the whole time we're watching it? And have we been continuing to heat it the whole time we've been watching it? Do you think there's a relationship between the heating and the amount of height that that level rises? Well, heat rises. So, okay, so you said heat rises, so are we seeing heat move up in this tube, or are we seeing ethanol? But what's physically in the test tube and in the glass tubing? Ethanol and water. That's ethanol and water. What will happen if we let it keep heating? It'll spill. It'll spill? But is there a hole like in the top of 